Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys are enjoying Milky Way season. Hope you're getting some good astrophotography photos out there yourselves. And tonight is uh, something special because this will be the first light with the Optolong L Extreme filter with this rig. Uh, I'm going to be using the ZWO 2600MC Pro with the William Optic Xenostar 61 and I have the Optolong L Extreme threaded right into the field flattener. So this should be a very exciting night. I can't wait to see the data that I'm able to collect with this filter. I plan on shooting uh, five minute exposures with this in the uh, North American Nebula. So stay tuned for the video to see what we can do with this narrowband filter tonight. And uh, yeah, as always, my name's Trevor and you're watching Astro Pilot. So the first big difference is I've noticed with this filter, since it's just such a narrow bandpass filter, focusing is a much more difficult task. As you can see, these diffraction spikes are a lot dimmer, so you're going to be uh, restricted to using really bright stars to focus your telescope on with this filter. Right now, this is Vega, so we all know how bright Vega is. and still those diffraction spikes are um, pretty dim but it is totally totally doable and there's nothing really hard about it it just makes it a little bit more difficult than um, no filter or just a normal light pollution filter but as you can see there I am basically in focus now so that's totally fine and we are basically ready to slew to our target so I am taking my bias and flat frames right now as we speak uh, the telescope is focused and is cooled down the camera is cooled down and after this we will be able to slew to our target for tonight which is NGC 7000 I plan on shooting this target for the next few nights few clear nights here and get a large amount of integration time with this L extreme filter I do plan on shooting five minute exposures which you want to extend your exposure time with this filter since it's letting in less light, but at the same time, it's a narrowband filter and you want to gather as much as possible. So uh, I think five minutes is a good range. Four to five to six minutes, I believe, would be a good range for anybody um, using this filter in a, a good camera. But I have high expectations for this filter. I've seen a lot about it. I've been researching it for a while now, and I'm really looking forward to what I can do with this filter and it's really going to enhance my quality of astrophotography both with the Xenostar 61 and the Ioptron RC6 for some really deep field images uh, like the Helix Nebula or some really close ups of the North American Nebula or the Lagoon Nebula. So this is going to be an all around great filter I believe. Um, this, was, this is my first journey into narrowband imaging and I'm really excited. So, um, yeah, we're going to see how tonight goes. Let's go ahead and slew to our target. So here is the first five-minute exposure of the North American Nebula with the Optolong L Extreme filter. That's the unstretched version here. Let's go ahead and stretch it, auto-stretch it in three, two, one. Holy crap, jeez, look at the detail that it's picking up, look at all the nebulosity that's picking up in just five minutes, that is crazy, and the star sizes, that's another thing that I forgot to mention with this filter, your star sizes are going to be greatly reduced, so it's going to keep those stars nice and tight and small due to the nature of the filter. That's five minutes and the stars are little, tiny. That is amazing. The amount of nebulosity that is picked up in just five minutes, that, that is just shocking. Wow, I cannot wait to see what the finished image of this is gonna look like. That's crazy. I'll mess with the levels here a little bit. Bring that black point in a little bit. Wow, 
That is insane. Wow. But yeah, there you go, guys. That is a five minute exposure. Wow, this is crazy. I'm so excited to see what I can do with this. Yeah, I'll be using this filter a lot, I foresee. So yeah, I'm gonna keep on shooting and see what happens the rest of the night. A little bit more detail on the Optolong L Extreme filter. It is a dual band pass, narrow band imaging filter, light pollution filter used for uh, one shot color cameras to allow you to image in narrow band. And this is the first time I have ever gotten into narrow band imaging and I've been looking forward to it for a long time. But the L Extreme is a dual band pass. It lets in HA and O3, so hydrogen alpha and oxygen 3 uh, in wavelengths and that's it. Nothing else can come in. Um, you can shoot during a full moon as long as you're not too close to the moon and you'll do just fine. So it is an extreme, hence the name, uh, light pollution filter slash narrowband imaging filter. So really excited to see what it can do. I've been looking forward to this for a long time. So stay tuned to the end to see the final result. It's definitely summertime out here. Bugs are going crazy over my filming light. You can hear them probably hitting the screen. But, um, <laughs> but I want to go ahead and wrap this video up. Stay tuned to the end to see the, my result with the L Extreme filter. And I might do a separate video on the processing techniques with this. I don't know what to expect. So we shall see what this filter is capable of. And I'm pretty sure it's going to be awesome. So as always, thank you for watching Astro Pilot. Stay tuned to the final image at the end of this video. Really want to thank you guys so much for your support, all the views, all the comments. And, uh, yeah, until next time, clear skies.